And we begin tonight with Idahoans who are 65 and older now able to sign up to get their COVID vaccine. But as expected, Idaho hospitals are having a hard time, actually an impossible time keeping up with demand. St. Luke's telling us they completely ran out of vaccine appointments within minutes of opening the phone lines this morning. A similar story at St. Al's. Their appointments also filled up very quickly. Right now, Idaho is only one of two states in the country that have vaccinated less than 6% of its population. The other one, Missouri. The states highlighted in blue have vaccinated 6 to 8% of their populations. The states in green, more than 8%. As you can see here, Idahoans and Idaho is way behind the rest of the country. Here now is a look at how many Idahoans have been vaccinated so far. As of this afternoon, more than 103,000 people had received their first dose. 22,800 have received both. A total of just over 126,000 doses have been administered so far in the gem state. And today's lack of vaccine appointments all boils down to one thing. Obviously, a lack of inventory. We need the juice. Our Shira Matsuzawa spoke with several organizations today to find out what's going on and what you should do if you're still trying to make an appointment and you're eligible for the vaccine and are hitting a brick wall. Shira? Yeah, you know, Mark, the 65 and older age group is comprised of 269,000 people, so it was always going to take some time to get this tier vaccinated, especially when Idaho only receives about 25,000 doses each week. Now, today, St. Luke says they opened 1,500 appointments and those were filled in less than 10 minutes. The health system says while they're working diligently, they're only opening appointments that they have inventory for or if they know for sure how much is on the way. Eric Needham tells me he was disappointed today. He logged in early to make sure he could schedule an appointment for his in-laws. His father-in-law is 75 and has been in the hospital 10 times in the last six months. He says he saw an opening, went to schedule it, but then it disappeared, so he called the hospital. And I could tell it was the first caller because she said, well, let me look, let's find him an appointment. And she looked and she goes, there's no appointments available anywhere. And I said, I know. And this was literally at 8 a.m., 8 one. So what should you do if you're trying to make an appointment? St. Luke says, don't call them. Instead, continue to check MyChart, the online scheduling system periodically throughout the days and weeks. They say the bulk of appointments will likely be open on Mondays and during business hours. And I also reached out to Central District Health about today. They act as a hub for info for people looking to connect to a vaccine provider. Within our health jurisdiction, again, four counties, we receive on average anywhere from six to 7,000 doses of vaccine each week. Um, we anticipate we have about 80,000 people in this 65 plus age group. So what that tells us is we have a very large population to serve. We know that they are very engaged. They are very interested in, in seeking vaccine. And so we, we simply don't have enough to go around at this point in time. And what that means is we have to ask for patience and persistence. Now, earlier this afternoon, Health and Welfare also told me the 25,000 doses per week uh, that Idaho is receiving appears to be less than what our state should be receiving. And they're working with our federal partners to find out why that is and bring that number up if possible. Until then, they're asking for everyone's patience. Meantime, Primary Health also told me today that they're scheduling patients 65 and older by invita invitation and reaching out to their most vulnerable patients first based on age and health. And tomorrow, Governor Little and Health and Welfare will be holding media briefings, so we'll be sure to bring up some of those questions and concerns. But Mark, I know we were just talking about my chart, and I'll be sure to include the information on our website okay. at ktv.com with how you can sign up for that. Yeah, it is frustrating, especially given the fact that Montana and Wyoming, neighboring states, right. less population, more vaccine doses. And no doubt those are conversations that they're having right now with health and welfare and our federal partners right now too. All so. right, Chair, this is gonna be an ongoing story for a long time, for sure. Thank you.